Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa if you guys are new here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my soap brows or the soap brow laminated brows trend whatever it's called. I'm not actually going to be using soap so hopefully I am getting this terminology correct. But actually you can use soap but the reason why I don't like to use soap is because I just find it really messy like I've tried the soap brow method using soap and you have to get water and you have to scrub it and just like you don't know where to put your bar of soap and I know that you can probably buy different products now so I'm going to introduce to you the product that I've been using if you guys are not new on this channel you guys will know that I've actually reviewed this product in my last month's favorites video where I actually say I don't think that this look is for me does it achieve that look Yes, I think my own personal takeaway is that I just don't think that I have the eyebrows or the look for that But I actually tested it out even more myself and I literally did this a million times And now I kind of realize why it wasn't working for me before and also how it can work for me now So hopefully I can share with you some of these tips because if you guys were either struggling with the soap brow method Just kind of wondering to yourself. Oh my god, maybe it's just like not a look for me like I was. This is what worked for me and hopefully it will work on you. So anyway, without further ado, let's get the video started. I'm gonna show you guys the two products that I use mostly. First product is the Anastasia Brow Freeze. This is what the product looks like in terms of the packaging. And when you open it up, it just has this like clear brow look. You can get this obviously at Sephora and a little goes a long way. So I've just been really, really liking this product. The second product that I'm gonna be using is also another Anastasia Beverly Hills product. Honestly, I just feel like she is the queen of brows. If you guys ever, you know, want to, for any of my brow products, even before this trend, even with the 2016 brow look, kind of like the more microbladed look, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade. I'm just such a huge fan of this brand. Also, if you want to sponsor me next time, let me know, you know, hit me up. The second product is the Brow Wiz. Some of the additional products that I think you might need are a pair of little scissors. So scissors like these that you use to cut your eyebrow hair or trimming or whatever, or your eyelashes. Some other two products, tweezers for your eyebrows, brows obviously and maybe one of these face shaving things by the way if you guys haven't seen my face shaving video where I also shave and kind of shape my brows take a look here I'll leave a picture here it is super informative I highly recommend watching that video because you just need it in your beauty routine so anyway going to the actual brow as you guys can see this is what my brows currently look like with no soap brows so I'm just gonna do a little bit of a modeling for you and then kind of show you here what this this kind of looks like really really up close we're gonna get right into how I do this part so I'm all zoomed up now so you guys can see my brows up close so I actually recommend having a separate spoolie but I'm so lazy and I haven't gotten another one so I'm just using the spoolie from the brow whiz hence why it gets a little bit clunky because I'm just a little too lazy to buy a separate one but if you have a separate one by all means if you guys want the disposable ones for environmental factors I don't recommend it but still so the first thing is you want to grab a little bit of the pomade so a little bit goes a long way here you have the pomade and all you want to do is you want to brush it up now the tip here is you want to brush basically up until half the brow up but the rest of the brow you need to start angling so just go straight up and once again you keep grabbing some more product as you go so you guys can see and it does not have to look pretty okay we are going to fix that in a second so once again I'm just gonna brush this upwards and then like I said once you get to this part you need to start angling your brow so it's going through a natural movement once you get here obviously you're brushing a little bit more here so you start off super high top 
here you go like this now I've already trimmed some of my hair and I think this is an acceptable length but the reason why I got confused and thought that this wasn't a good method for me is because at the time my brow hair went like this high once I was extending it so after you laminate I find that this might be a little bit easier is you take this and you can start trimming it a little bit so I'm just gonna trim this just to show you guys so this one but you don't want to trim too too much so like here you guys can see that I'm cutting that off so you don't want to trim too too much because you need the fluffiness so anything beyond like this I don't really recommend anything below this I don't really recommend if it's above this then I would say start kind of trimming after this point but if it's kind of just here I would just recommend staying here's another trick okay so the first one is after you laminate the brows if the hair is too long trim it a little bit the second tip I have for you is after you do this part of the brows you need to let it sit and wait and let it calm down so what I usually do is after I do this part of the eyebrows I go and do the rest of my face and I will come back for the color for the sake of this video I already did my makeup usually at this point you would go and do the rest of your face we will come back to this in a little bit in the meantime I'm gonna show you how I do this side of the eyebrows and you guys can see here there's already a difference between these two brows same thing, just grab a little bit like this. Keep adding as needed. I am just laminating, grabbing some more. Here you go. And then kind of doing it this way. So I'm gonna wait a few minutes and then I'm gonna come back once this has calmed down for the second part of the video And like I said in this section you would go and just do the rest of your face guys We are back I feel like a good benchmark to know if you waited long enough whether or not the lamination still feels cool on your eyebrows Kind of feels like the feeling of the coolness has gone away I think that's a pretty good indicator of the next step why waiting is super important is because you're letting the gel kind of like cool off that way it makes the drawing a little bit easier in the next step it looks way more natural so this is why just for efficiency purposes do this part first and then go and do the rest of your face and usually that's pretty much enough time but then if let's just say you do your face super quickly then just wait until that feeling of coolness is gone so zooming in to my face again as you guys can see this is where we left off at this point what you're gonna do the first thing is you're gonna take the pencil use whatever pencil that you usually use for your brows the one that I'm using like I said is the brow whiz and so I'm just taking a little bit and this is where you can draw on a little bit of color draw where you think is appropriate so I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and do this the idea here is you want to draw upward motions to mimic eyebrow hair so you don't want to like color in or kind of do the pomade method we're not doing that anymore we are just gonna draw little tiny hairs The only line you should also be drawing is like just kind of like the bottom one to clean up if you want to if not you can just rely on the little hairs personally I don't really ever feel the need to really draw this part just for the more natural look so I will just draw within the gaps like this I feel like I could have waited a little bit longer for this side. So now that you've done all of this, you are not done. You're gonna take the end of the spoolie and you're actually going to kind of draw a line like this. You're just gonna clean it up. It's not drawing, you're just using the end of the spoolie to push the hair down. So you're pushing all the ends of the hair and you're just kind of cleaning it up like that. So this was another step that I missed before and that's why I thought the soap brow look wasn't it for me. This was extremely important because you don't want the hairs to just always stick up, especially if you have like uneven hair lengths. That's why you just want to cut what you can and then you want to push it all back down. So you will still get the fluffy eyebrow look without just having like a wild bush on your eyebrows. I'm just going to show you some quick before and after right beside each other so you guys can see the difference between my eyebrows. That was pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on soap brows and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!